Good afternoon and welcome once again to my daily chat. This is episode number 561 and the topic today is relationship challenges. How much rope do you give them? I'm going to explain what I mean and provide some examples and give you some guidance in a moment. But before I jump into that, let me introduce, my, let me introduce myself to you so you know who I am and where I am, what I'm about, something like that. And then we get started. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. I help strong, successful women, uh, high-achieving women, in fact, create balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the Divine Feminine, which led me to do these talks starting over two years ago called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And these have become dailies for the last 500 or so. The first 50 were a bit more spread out. And so right now we're at episode number 561, so quite a lot. And the topic today is around relationship challenges, and particularly how much rope do you give them? And I'll explain what I mean right now. Um, the reason I'm speaking about this is a couple of recent conversations, one last night and one, actually two last night, one virtual, one in person, with two different people, about challenges with the men they've been seeing. So it's ladies about men they've been seeing, but this paradigm applies both ways. So even though I'm using the ladies and their dates as examples, you can apply this to your own relationship experiences, just to be clear. So in one instance, um, a friend of mine reached out to me to ask me basically about this long distance, long distance relationship she's in, she's in, because it feels like he's putting out no effort. He's not stepping up, he's not showing up. For example, in this situation, in this instance, they, I th one of them suggested they actually meet someone in the middle because they live across, it's a long distance relationship, they live quite a ways from each other, like uh, several states apart. And that was like, yes, let's do that, let's meet somewhere in between. And then slowly but surely, he kept pulling back and pulling back, eventually saying, why don't you come visit me in my place? Which was not what was originally intended. And the, the reason I'm saying it this way is because, and I'm cutting to the chase to make it really simple, is that it went from meeting halfway, as in both putting in the effort, to come and visit me, as in she has to do the effort. That, to be blunt, is way out of alignment. If nothing else, he would be the one, as a gentleman, to suggest that he would come all the way to visit her rather than meeting halfway if that was a different choice. And so the scenario is that she's feeling, as it was feeling, so we talked, in a quandary because she likes him, at least she likes the idea of him, and this is the thing I, I think I felt was, they have not actually spent much time together really. A brief couple of times, but most times in virtual and over the phone and through online. And so this pulling back energy that he was doing was one where really, and she kind of got the sense of this, is she needs to cut the ties. She needs to cut that rope and not stay in that connection anymore because it was too much effort and it wasn't healthy. I'm gonna go into deep, deep on that one in a moment because I wanna go to the other, the other conversation I had with a friend last, new friend last night about um, the guy that basically wasn't stepping up. She's been seeing this guy locally, they live in the same town, they're both in LA. Um, but after the initial impetus of asking her out and taking her out, he's been kind of dragging his feet. And I don't mean dragging his feet like not wanting to commit to a deeper connection, like you know, engagement or something like that. I mean, just in terms of dating, like getting together. And I was talking to another person there last night, this is a big uh, holiday mixer, so I talked to several people, um, talking about ghosting and then um, a new term I heard, which is haunting. Because <laughs> this is the thing about the relationships that disappear. And the one that was, the one that I was talking to last night, wasn't necessarily disappear, but there was a certain flavor of um, absenteeism going on. And when it comes to really authentic relationship, I firmly, personally believe that when you're in an authentic relationship, both partners are present and accounted for. They don't disappear, they don't flake, they don't change their minds and walk away and not do stuff. They stay present, stay committed, and stay in the conversation. And one of the key requirements, I believe, for a relationship is an open dialogue back and forward. A chance to communicate, to collaborate, to make sure that you're on the same page and to share what's not working if it's not working. Because when you just simply go, it's not working and we'll leave and not say anything, there's no solution, there's no healing. There's just basically a 
assumptive re- assumptive sense the other person has. Sorry, there's an assumption on one person's part that they didn't leave, but then there's also this gap that widens and widens and widens because they got ghosted, and that's not effective. So, my my, I'm gonna say this. My personal feeling going deep on this is that in many cases relationships are broken down by lack of communication. In both instances in this situation there was a lack of communication because in one part with the long distance relationship she didn't say to him like dude step up. She didn't actually challenge him to do something more to go deeper to actually step into the place either one keep the original agreement to meet halfway or secondly don't be so damn lazy. You come fly to me. You 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 do the effort to come visit me, which is, frankly, what she sh- which I would recommend she would do. I think she's chosen the fact to just just cut the ties and not do that do that relationship. Period. But see, that's the communication that was missed. In the other situation, the one from last night, um, in person, there was a um, a deference on her part not to sort of be too pushy. Because the thing is, there's a there's a there's a nuance between being direct and being masculine. Because some women are so scared of being too masculine in the relationship, they won't put their agenda out there. And actually, this is a big area to talk about for a moment. Just let me drop this one in here. Because as I've talked many, many times, I'm a big proponent of women owning their feminine power in a relationship and being truly in the place of grace and flow and, and enjoyment. For some women, that can be to be less bossy or be less directive like they are in the business world. However, and this is a big however, if you're with a man, ladies, who doesn't take charge and lead, you may want to just be fairly direct and blunt with him, say, dude, are you going to take the lead and step up? Because if I do it, if you as a woman say, I'm going to take the lead, then he's basically inviting you to take the masculine role. And having been in a relationship where I had that working the wrong way myself a few times, it's no fun. It's convenient and it's lazy, for the men in that situation, but it's not effective. I didn't step into my role where I would be most effective in that relationship with, with, with the different women because I didn't take charge of being the masculine. And in this case, with, with both of these men, I would say that was a piece they were omitting to do. And so this um, reminder, this, this, this suggestion, is a simple nudge to say that, ladies, if you're dating a man who doesn't take charge, who doesn't lead, who doesn't at least offer suggestions. I'm not saying he makes all the decisions for you because that's not necessarily required, but at least he's there on the t- on, on deck to say like, you know, I've got this idea, let's do this. Does it work for you? They're still masculine, that's healthy. It's also something where I said before in other talks where the man should show up and say, honey, or dear, or, or whatever his pet name for you is, is um, I've got plans for us on Friday night I'll pick you at 8 o'clock. Please wear that red dress I love you wearing. And I'll see you at 8 o'clock. And that's it. Ladies, if he does that to you, or for you, and you can trust him, of course, I think that might, for, might make for a very entertaining and very enjoyable evening. Because he has fully embraced and taken on the masculine role. And this idea, and I'm using this as a simple example, is a place that men can step into more powerfully for you ladies, so we can be fully enjoying your feminine role in the relationship and have a man you can trust. Because the thing is that when the men don't make decisions like that, they don't step up and say, you know, I'll take the lead and I'll support you by being there that way, you're actually wasting your time in a relationship that's not going to work. Because it's going to put you in your masculine, ladies. And that's a relationship that doesn't work based on what I've experienced myself. And yes, I talk about the masculine and feminine a lot because it's a polarity energy that creates sexual chemistry. And without that, there ain't no joyful sex. So there. <laughs> so that's my two, two cents on that one. So that's that's kind of my... Um, <laughs> simple message for tonight. For tonight, I, I was I'm I'm still processing some stuff from last night, so um, there may be some more talks the rest of the weekend about this. But that was one thread that I was really clear about that there's a, definitely a place where it's time in some relationships to cut ties, to simply cut the rope, walk away, let go. Because frankly, some of you the clock is ticking. I mean, the clock is ticking, meaning your life is wasting away, the relationship is not supporting you. And ladies, especially, if you're choosing relationships because you think there's something there but it hasn't happened yet, my question to you is how long are you going to wait? How much time are you going to let go by before you say, you know what, this is not what I wanted? 
and unless he, the man, you, or the man, the man you're in relationship with, steps up, unless I can talk to him and say, hey, will you step up? It's not worth playing there. You might as well walk away. It's not serving you or your relationship or your future, and it doesn't help your heart either. If you're in a place where you're getting clear this is not working for you, or you're stuck, or you're not feeling you're getting what you want in a relationship, it's a good time to think about getting some help. And I'll put a link in the comments, as I usually do, for something which is basically my invitation to a discovery session with me. Um, I am offering some singles coaching sessions this month because it's the holidays and people go through their own stuff. Um, but I'll put the link in for that as well, just to get my calendar. If you want to get a session, just a one committed deep dive session with me, that'll be in the comments as well. But also, if you want to look at going deeper with me, I'll offer a discovery session in the comments as well. So that's just some ideas to play with and something to keep on your plate if you find yourself stuck and you want to move forward. So with that, um, quick reminders. This... This is my usual Facebook Live, by the way, 5 p.m. Pacific time every day. Tomorrow might be earlier. I've got holiday parties. So I might be leaving at the time I normally do this broadcast. So I may go a bit early tomorrow. We'll see. No plans, no definites for sure, but we'll see. But I wanted to say um, you can catch my replays on my business page on Facebook, which is barryselby.author. Also on my YouTube channel, which is also Barry Selby. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And there's a playlist in there called Messages from the Masculine. You can watch all these broadcasts. Same as on my business page on Facebook. And also on my podcast, um, I have a podcast channel or a podcast on iTunes called Messages for the Masculine, which you can subscribe to as well. And there you'll get the audio versions of these broadcasts, which you can download and listen to your, on your phone when you're traveling around, doing stuff, working out, cycling, driving, whatever you're doing when you can't look at the screen. So that's giving you a couple of things to play with. Again, I'll put links in the comments for the, the deep dive 90 minute commerce, uh, coaching session and for the discovery session as well. Um, and with that, I thank you for watching. I'm back in tomorrow at usual time. Well, that's again, sorry, caveat. I may be doing that earlier. I've got so much stuff going on this weekend. What a life I have. So I'll put the link in the comments. I'll be back in tomorrow. I'm announced on Facebook before I go live if I'm going earlier. And uh, with that, I think I'm done. I appreciate you watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. If you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below and I'll respond when I sign off. And with that, I'll say thank, take care of yourselves and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.